I'm going to move on to one last item before I go and take your phone calls, okay? And that's Kelly Oubre of the Philadelphia 76ers. That's the subject that we need to tackle right now. It's necessary. He's a guard for his small forward swing guard, small forward for the Philadelphia 76ers. He was hit by a car last Saturday in the center city section of Philadelphia. Oubre told investigators he was walking alone when he was clipped by the driver's side mirror of a silver car around 7.20 p.m. Look, first of all, thank God he's okay. Went to the hospital, suffered a broken rib and some other injuries, nothing life-threatening. Thank God he's okay, even though he's going to be out for a little while from playing basketball for the Philadelphia 76ers. I was at the game last night. They desperately needed him. He wasn't there. They lost the game to the Boston Celtics. Here's all I can tell you. I don't have any facts to back up what I'm about to say. I just find it a tad bit odd that somebody damn near hits you like flush and uh, evidently the side of the mirror, the, the, the mirror caught the side of your body. And because of that, you know, you end up going to the hospital, but still and all, it was hit and run. So they ran away. They drove away. So they hit you by accident. You know how much of a speed they had to be going through for the side, for the side mirror of a car to hit you and that to hospitalize you? I'm sorry, there's something about that that reeks of intentionality to me. Now, I don't know whether that's true or not. They haven't found the suspects. Who knows what the situation is going to materialize into? I don't have any of the facts other than to say that he's alive and doing better and getting healthy and they hope that he's going to be okay. But my belief is I lived in Philadelphia for 17 years. Those side streets in Center City and stuff like that, yeah, they're going a little fast. They ain't going that damn fast. And oh, by the way, if you get hit, I mean, you're kind of looking both ways and you're always mindful and cognizant of the cars that are going by. I understand we're living in a world of people putting their head down and tweeting and walking without looking both ways. But this is the damn fault for the Philadelphia 76ers. Making millions, looking to make more millions in the years and years to come. Your body is your temple. It's what makes him his money, his athleticism, his physique, him being in shape and ready to play ball. I find it very difficult to believe that with all the dangers you, you avoid, that suddenly you just lost consciousness and got hit by, the, uh, by a car's side mirror while you were walking in the streets. It seems to me like somebody targeted yourself. And if they targeted you, why would they do that? Not that it absolves them from guilt or criminal behavior. But something's a little fishy. It's just my perception. 